Andrew, I know you come at this topic from really both the investor side and the lending side, right? You've seen it on both. So, and again, if you've just joined us, we're talking about why flips fail. Uh, and we're going to go into a number of reasons and categories of, uh, of, of, of reasons for flips failing. But first, we, we want to start with location. Okay, so what makes, in your experience, a good location for a flip? Yeah, I love older established neighborhoods. You know, I want a, a, I want a house or I want comparable sales in a neighborhood where they have a home sold for 300000 and a home sold for 900000 I want the largest buyer's pool that I can. And let me give you an example. If you buy a home in, say, Gilbert, you pick a neighborhood, and, eight, and all the homes in that neighborhood have built between 1996 and 1997. And an 1800 square foot house in that neighborhood has sold in between 550,000 and 600,000. So if I buy a house in that neighborhood and I put a hundred thousand dollars into it, the most I can get for it is $600,000. If I put $10,000 into it, the most I can get for it is $600,000. I want a neighborhood that can support the amount of rehab, the amount of value that I can increase in it. So if I have an 800 square foot house and say, Arcadia or Dobson Ranch or the older parts of Abatuki. Those are great areas to target because you have comps from, you know, 300,000 all the way up to a million dollars. So if I put the money into that house, I know that there will be buyers in that neighborhood to buy the house. What's your method of finding these properties in, in, in kind of this ideal market that you're explaining? Yeah. So you're looking for distress. So it's either a distressed owner or a distressed property. Those are the two ways to find a really good deal. And then, and there's a good, better, best. So the good is going with the real estate agent. And we see that this on HGTV. A lot of times, say if you're a first time investor and you're like, oh, I want to flip a home. What should we do? Well, let's call up a real estate agent and they'll help us find a house. Well, that, it, that's a good, a good way to find a house. On the MLS, there are some deals, but they are hard to find. The better is wholesalers. So you get on all the wholesalers list and that's going to be mostly off market properties. Now the wholesalers are investors that go up and lock up con properties under contract and they're assigning that contract to the end investor so they can either flip it or keep it as a rental. The best is going directly to the owner. So you're looking for, right, the distressed owner, the distressed property. You're sending out mailers to properties that are distressed. You're selling out mailers or giving or calling or, or emailing owners that are distressed. The most popular list, the most popular way to find those is the 90, 60, 30 day late notices, homes that are in pre foreclosure. You're talking to those owners and saying, Hey, I understand you have an issue with your house. You have an issue with your bank. I'm a home solution company. Here's some ways that I can help you get out of this. And really you're leading them down the path of I'm going to buy your house for cash and get you out of this situation. 